all right good morning okay so this is day two uh, operation make mama happy so all right i'm getting my saw set up i got the rest of the wood out i uh, had some white oak in there i got some red oak white oak and uh so i'm gonna uh cut my, my legs my four by fours and get my legs made get them all sanded down and um start making the frame to uh, the table I want to make. Uh, I'm de just debating five foot or six foot. Six foot is what we really want. And six foot is, I don't know if I could fit it comfortably. You know, it might, it'll look crammed. Five feet won't look as crammed. Uh, but also five feet, it's going to be hard to put three chairs on one side. It's going to be two chairs on one side and then a chair on each end and then a bench seat along one side where you should be able to get four to five of the grandkids squeezed on it probably four of the grandkids squeezed on that so uh, anyway this is what I need to do anyway so I think I'm gonna do my, my material I have here is ten feet long so if I go six feet long I got four feet um, it's not really waste because uh, my cabinets I gotta make all my rails and all so I can get my rails out of that four foot piece I would actually have more material if I do a five foot I mean it's uh, well I don't know I, I don't I, I don't know if I have more material or not but I think I will because I will have more material if I do a six foot because it really won't be but about four inches of waste on it every board after um, I use you know the cut off from the six foot use that to cut my styles and rails for the cabinets um, just one the one cabinet is going to be five feet long so I'm just going to need two five foot rails three five foot rails by an inch and a half to do that so um, and then the rest of it's all going to be uh, for the doors will be 42 inches uh, rails and uh, the, the cabinet the five foot cabinet's going to be 30 30 inch rail so I mean I'm just figuring it all out at the moment so I think I'm gonna cut the legs first so I'll be dwelling on this and thinking how I want to do this so uh, alright guys um, I'll roll the film a little bit for some of it, you know, but I don't want to keep my, my camera running, especially while I'm uh, cutting and getting a lot of uh, sawdust. I don't want to get it all in my camera, and plus I don't want to run the camera constantly because my battery don't last real long, and um, I want to have enough battery to last through the day. So I'm going to pick and choose when I leave it on what you're gonna watch so anyway you'll get to uh, watch me and I'll get some close-ups of, of when I'm putting it together you know what I mean so uh, all right guys check it out all right guys so uh, I just got my legs cut for the table and for the bench okay so uh, I used these four by fours that I had, and these would I'll show I'll show you uh, how you seen earlier uh, on well, on yesterday's video, on day one's video. I showed you about the heat treated. These are heat treated uh, four by fours. Now they're rough, so I'm gonna do some sanding on them, and I might even uh, I might even run them through a table saw, to smooth it out. I think that might be. The easier way and the better way than to uh, spend the time sanding them. Set up my table saw and just uh, shave a little bit off of off of each side. Um, yeah, so they won't be quite four by fours. They'll be a little bit smaller, which will be okay because the four by four I, I think is a little bulky looking. Yeah, they three and a half by three and a half. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I'd make them a little smaller, maybe three by threes, you know what I mean? Uh, three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Take about an eight, eighth inch off of each side. So that won't be too bad. Yeah, okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set my table saw up and rip all that down. 
um, yeah, have all four sides to cut off. So I'll set my saw at uh, to take an eighth off. So I'll set it at uh, three and three eighths, and I'll run uh, run them all through it, and then turn them on its side and run it again for the other side. Then I'll have to set the thing at three and uh, three and a quarter, and run the other side through. Okay. All right. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then uh, once I get that, I'm gonna uh, set up my pocket hole, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do all that. I'm gonna cut the frames and make the frame. It's really gonna be quick and easy. And then uh, it's just gonna be my top that's gonna take time. I need to cut all that. I gotta cut straight edges, get it nice and straight, and then uh, glue it. I'm a biscuit glue it, and I'm gonna also pocket screw it together. And uh, then I got to clamp it, let it sit, basically let it sit overnight. And so, and then tomorrow I'll be ready to put it in. So then I'll get, uh, uh, this evening I'll get my island apart, get some help over here to get that piece of granite off of there. So tomorrow I can go in with the, uh, with the table. All right, guys, so that's the plan uh, so far. Hopefully it all works out, and that way I'd have the table done, except for, you know, staining and painting. And um, well, as far as having it built, um, I'll have it done. So, uh, you know, I don't know what I'm going to stain this. Uh, I might try some tongue oil on the top. Uh, it might, uh, might not have to go dark. It might just be good enough to go somewhat light. And uh, because the tongue oil will darken it up quite a bit. And... Uh, and then I won't have to stain it. I just tongue oil it, and um, that's that treats the wood. It soaks in. It seals the wood, and then the more coat you put on it, the shinier uh, you can have on the um, on your finish. So if you want it, you don't want it too shiny. You just slack off, slack off on some of the coats. If you want it shiny, you put more coats. So uh, I just so if I do that, then I'm going to use the red on the uh, on the tabletop and not the white. Uh, the white I'll use uh, for uh, everything else because I'm, I'm going to be painting it. And that way the red, I, when I put that tongue oil on it, it's going to pull out uh, the, the, the red tones and uh, the darker tones than, than the white wood. So, okay guys, that's what I'm going to work on now. And uh, check it out. Okay, what I'm doing is... Uh, They're rough looking like this. And now I'm making them kind of smooth, okay? I'm cutting the roughness off. And, uh, so I'll give you a shot of, of what I'm doing here. I don't want to get too close. I don't want to get a lot of sawdust in my saw. And then in my camera. two edges, so I'm going to do these two.
me stop the other ones. I'm getting dust all over my camera. All right, I just had to show you that. Okay, I have my my legs all cut out, and now what I'm fixing to do, the piece that goes in between the legs, is what I'm fixing to work on now. So <clears throat> my total length of my table is going to be. Um, uh, six, six foot so let's say okay so 72 inches okay so then I'm gonna have an overhang all the way around of uh, of an inch and a half so on each end that's three so I'm gonna subtract three off of that that's gonna give me 69 inches okay so in between the legs so what I, what I want to do is I'll take um, I mean, I could subtract this, but I'm going to show you just in case you're not good with tape measure and all that. You could take your 69, put it on the edge, and 62 and a half is what I need to cut my middle, my middle pieces. So I'm going to have actually four pieces, 62 and a half, because I'm going to have my bench and my table. I'm going to have my two long ones, 62 and a half. Okay, so let me go ahead and I'm going to cut that on this saw right here. I'm going to cut it 63 because I'm going to cut a half inch off. Set my table saw up at two and seven. Alright guys, um, I'm starting to put it all together, I, I just started working and I forgot to film it, I'm sorry, I just get caught up in doing the work, so anyway, what I'm doing right now, okay, first of all, let's see, hopefully you can see, I can't tell, uh, if you can see this, I think so, so, right here, yeah, I did these little angles on here, because I'm going to have a, uh, My corners, you know what I mean, are going to be fitting in there like that. So I'm drilling to here, and they'll uh, tie into the to the frame of the uh, of the table. So I got those done, and then what I'm doing is I'm, I'm doing the pocket screws like this, and um, and so I uh, almost had them all done. I was getting ready to get the last one I remembered uh, that I wasn't showing you guys. So this is how it works. I got this little jig right here. And uh, I don't know, man. I, I hopefully uh, y'all can see it. It looks black. Hang on. Let me get it from this angle, maybe. here and um, I'm pretty sure 
y'all can see it, I hope. Let's see. Okay, my picture is upside down. That's what's wrong. There it is. Okay. All right. Now, this, so uh, you put it in, in here, kind of center it in here. This holds it in place. And then uh, it call, you, you drill a hole. It's a pocket, pocket, uh, pocket hole. And it kind of goes on an angle a little bit to allow you to uh, almost like kind of set the screws in. All right, so all right, here we go. So let's take one of these, and this is going to go here. I'm going to use this kind of like a spacer, so that I can keep them all pretty even. And I'll screw that. All right. so much easier. Okay, so here's one side.
Okay, that's the main frame put together now, you guys. Uh, I'm going to get my cross pieces in to get my squareness. And then I'm going to put me probably uh, either two or three. Let's see if I put one here. I could put two, two uh, supports in the middle and I'd be fine. It'd be good. And uh, yeah, this is going to be, this is going to come out pretty good. I'm going to like it. So, uh, all right, so I'm going to work on my little cross pieces right now, okay? All right, guys, so this is uh, the, con the conclusion of day two. Kitchen, uh, operation, uh, make mama happy, okay? So, uh, got I got the frame for our, our uh, table done. It's going to be six foot by three foot. And that's basically it. And I just got to make the top. So I'm just, you know, uh, I got to, and I got to paint that. So that's, I'm going to work on painting it tomorrow and, and making, cutting the top, put the top on it. And, um, and we're going to stain the top. So I'm either going to use uh, the oak boards I got here or I'll go, I'm going to go buy some. 2x12 pine or well, 2 buys whatever I need to figure out how many I need of what what size and um, and do that for the top I'm not sure yet I gotta I gotta still figure that out how I want to do that um, I, I'm, I'm kind of not I'm kind of wanting to uh, use and save a lot of this for the cabinets I got some drawers to make, drawer fronts to make. I mean, all drawer fronts, and so uh, I'm gonna have to be cutting those and gluing gluing pieces together. You know, making uh, a water piece. Um, then I gotta uh, I gotta rip a lot for my doors. I got a bunch of doors on the upper that I'm gonna put glass in, uh, or I could just leave it like it is. Um, I mean, when we tell people I'm going to do glass, most people like say, uh, man, it looks good like it is. You know, as long as we, um, not, as long as, you know, we keep it neat looking. Now, we can do that, but what's happening lately is we're running, we're getting other things and we're running out of space. So when I make this other side, maybe we'll decide then, you know, because we'll have shelving to put a lot of our stuff. And, um, and we'll have the cabinets to, you know, to put stuff in. So, uh maybe just maybe i won't have to make make the doors that would be good for me <laughs> i'll make them if she wants them though but but anyway all right so uh i'm picking up today i'm getting ready to lose my daylight for today um so uh see you tomorrow uh on operation make mama happy so you guys be blessed have a good night see you tomorrow